hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be unboxing the Lush Fresh and Flowers box for October. I cannot believe, I think I've been doing these for over a year now. I have a feeling I started this maybe August, September of last year. So we have been doing this for a whole 12 months. How exciting. I'm very excited for this month's box. I've seen zero spoilers, so I am so excited to dive into this. So without further ado, we are gonna dive right in. Before I get in, actually, I feel like, before I get in, actually, before I get into it, actually, I feel like I wanted to share with you what the Fresh and Flowers box is. If you guys don't know what it is, I have many a video on my channel of the Fresh and Flowers box, but basically, you get one a month from Lush. It all, it all includes basically fresh things, so face masks, eye packs, is, that kind of vibe, hair masks, hair treatments, that kind of stuff, and it is kind of made to be used sooner rather than later, hence fresh and flowers, and you also usually get a little bunch of flowers, hence the name fresh and flowers. Anyway, without further ado, we are going to dive right in. I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. So this is the box. I'm just going to open it on up and see what's inside. I'm really hoping that nothing has exploded or leaked or looks relatively gross because we oh the snuggle box that's so cute i love that okay something's definitely orange the flowers are so cute anyway diving on in so the first thing we have oh this is so exciting i don't even know where to start the flowers the flowers okay so let's start with the flowers now i'm not gonna lie to you do i know what all these flowers are no um however i am gonna put them in some water um as soon as this video is done to hopefully salvage these beautiful little flowers i'm not sure about these ones i feel like we've had these before am i wrong they look like little chilies um but yeah these are the flowers so cute i have nowhere to put them let's put them on the throw hopefully it doesn't stain moving on so the first item in the box is this and this is the plain leaf bath bomb and ingredients wise in this one we have got i haven't got my glasses on and the writing is very very small so bear with me we have got tangerine oil maple syrup popping candy benzoin resinoid canadian oh that's canadian maple syrup cream of tartar cornstarch and i think that's it let's give it a smell and see what it smells like oh that's good it's like Hmm, how to describe it without just saying the ingredients. You can definitely smell the maple syrup, like it is a very mapley kind of smell. Like it's sweet and it's got, you can definitely smell like the bicarbonate of soda in it. Does that make sense? Like it's got a very like buttable essence to it, but it does smell like maple syrup. A butterbally maple syrup bath bomb. It smells good though. I love it. It's like an orange and yellow and red kind of design. It's so cute. Love that, so autumnal. I've just realised I forgot to take off my nail polish. So I do apologise that my nails... <laughs> That's really embarrassing. My nails look disgusting. Please ignore them. I was meant to paint them before the video. I even have my nail polish out and I completely forgot. Anyway, I feel like I've started now, so we're going to continue. But this is the first item. Love that. We're just going to pop that also on the throw and hope for the best. The next item in the box is the fresh face mask of the month and that is the Nutkins face mask and on the front it says golden crisp leaves, <laughs> leaves? Hang on, golden crisp leaves are falling, snuggle up as a candle flickers, as candles, I find it so hard to read because I feel like they say it in a really nice way and I just get confused. Right let's try it one more time, golden crisp leaves, are <laughs> leaves, 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 Golden crisp leaves are falling. Snuggle up as candles flicker and sink into a steamy, relaxing bath. Lashings of creamy chestnut puree condition and nourish the skin whilst rich hazelnut butter and soothing acorn jelly moisturise. Acorn jelly. Unsure. Let's open it up and see what it smells like and then let's look at the ingredients. So, I have a feeling it's going to be brown. Oh, that's the most disappointing colour of a face mask ever. Whoa. That smells insane. Right, let's have a proper smell of it. So much so that I got it on my face. 
it smells like marzipan like almond marzipan almonds is marzipan almond it is isn't it that's what it smells like oh my god that smells insane okay let's look at the ingredients quick so ingredients wise in this one we have got chestnut puree hazelnut butter acorn jelly ground hazelnut cinnamon leaf oil brazilian orange oil almond essential oil that is so good i'm so excited to use that bravo very good the next item is this one and this is the hot chocolate hand mask sounds so adorable we used to have one of these years ago and i think it was the helping not helping hands what was it called tiny hands no if you guys know let me know down below but we used to have something very similar to this which was kind of like a, you put it in hot water and you mix it together and use it on your hands but this one says put your hand mask in a cup pour boiling water just over the hand and begin stirring the hand will start to dissolve and make a paste add a splash more water if needed leave to cool for a bit make sure the mix isn't too hot get an old towel handy and paint the mixture over hands leave for five to ten minutes to moisturize and nourish your skin and then rinse clean and ingredients wise in this one we have got um vegan dark chocolate cold pressed muru muru butter avocado oil almond oil orange zest cocoa powder sandalwood oil avocado did i say avocado oil i think i did castor oil vanilla absolute i could eat that that smells would you believe like chocolate <laughs> obviously it just smells like chocolate powder i really want to bite that i won't but I feel like you could you could confuse this for hot chocolate oh, that's so good and it's a cute little hand look at that yum next up in the box we have this and this is the birch leaf soap and i'm really really impressed that they've wrapped this one up in dissolvable plastic it's not plastic but it melts with hot water um because last month do you remember the green bath bomb that went absolutely everywhere i feel like they've taken note this time um and this one says lather up with a moisturizing sorry lather up with moisturizing birch I cannot function, honestly. Lather up with moisturising birch water and rinse. You can get a nice creamy lather with this leaf, with the leaf, anyway. Creamy lather, this is what it is. I'm gonna open it and smell it, but ingredients wise, this one has got rapeseed oil, coconut oil, geranium oil, rose absolute, lavender oil, oris oil. Let's give it a smell because I feel like I must know what it smells like. I'm gonna regret opening this now, I think, but I need to smell it, so... Oh, okay. Mmm, do I love it? It smells very... I wouldn't be surprised if I smelt this in a very expensive perfume shop. Does that make sense? It's got a very earthy scent to it, which you know I love. <laughs> hate that. But it has got a very citrusy smell to it as well. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. I'll give it that. It's not my favourite smell ever, but it's definitely not that bad, and... um I love it. I love the little design, so that's really cute. So I've just realised there's actually two soaps in here. That was really stupid of me. I thought it was one. There's actually two. So the back one is the oak leaf soap. I love that they've wrapped them together. That's so cute. This one, it says, with acorn powder and the sugar in maple water creating more bubbles, lather the oak, lather the oak leaf soap all over your body and rinse. And ingredients-wise in this one, you've got maple water, sweet wild orange oil, cedarwood oil, Mer res is it myrrh resinoid is that how you pronounce it heberwood oil i think this is what smells a lot more citrusy and the other one is more woodsy together they smell quite good so i'm really impressed with that and i like that there's two little leaves my fingers are getting orange so we're gonna pop that down and we're gonna move on and i'm gonna wipe my hands into my joggers Next up, we have the Mr. Pumpkin Face Facial Cleanser. I feel like we haven't received a facial cleanser in a long time. Is that just me? I feel like we haven't. But anyway, this is the Mr. Pumpkin Face. So cute. There is a Mr. Pumpkin Face. Is it called Mr. Pumpkin Face? Was that a face mask? I can't remember. But this is the cleanser. And ingredients-wise in this one, we've got ground almonds, pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, lime oil, mandarin oil. Did we have this before? Am I losing the plot? It smells so good though. It just smells like autumn, like an autumn Starbucks. I love that. Delicious, but I feel like we've had this. Am I going mental? Somebody tell me in the comments, did we have this before? Did it come out last year? Am I going crazy? 
but I'm really excited about that because again I don't think we've had a cleanser in a little while so I'm really excited I'm gonna use it tonight so I'll let you guys know my thoughts on that over on my Instagram so make sure you follow me over there okay so the last item are the eye patches and you guys know how I feel about eye patches I don't love them I don't hate them they're not my favorite but these are the chrysanthemum chrysanthemum is that how you pronounce it if it is 10 points to me eye patches and essentially you just put these over your eyes while you've got a face mask on really cooling really soothing ingredients wise in these we have got um chamomile infusion carrageenan extract aloe gel paprika and chrysanthemums is that how you pronounce it? chrysanthemums chrysanthemums doesn't sound like a word but anyway these are the eye patches and they're like little tiny flowers how cute i uh, do you know what i love the way these look i think they look so adorable but the problem is is that you just can't see they're very restricting when it comes to um vision so yeah love them a little bit scared to use oh they smell good really fresh actually i'm just throwing them everywhere very fresh smell i'm actually quite excited about those not gonna lie i need to go wash my hands though because my hands are stained orange which is great so that is everything for the lush fresh and flowers box for october i would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments what did you think of this box did you love it did you hate it did you receive it let me know i actually really like this box i do really love the seasonal boxes as in like christmas um, Halloween, that kind of thing. So I do think that they make a little bit more effort in those boxes. But anyway, I am so excited about this one. I love everything. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to go put my flowers in some water though because they're looking a little bit worse for blah, 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 blah. Worse for wear. Anyway, before I ramble on too much, it is currently 10 to 8 in the evening and I'm absolutely starving. So I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.